Hey, what's up guys, it's Farmer Jack and today we're gonna talk about eggplant. So eggplants do great in South Florida. They're in that same family as tomatoes and peppers, the Solanceae family. And they do so well in winter time, like you plant them in the fall and they'll just go and they'll produce so well all throughout, you know, next springtime, you know, till about now, it's May right now. And right now in May, kind of tomatoes start slowing down as it heats up for summer. And you kind of stop doing a lot of that wintery stuff. Um, whereas eggplants, they keep going. They will go May, June, July, it doesn't matter. Um, you can kind of do them year round here, which is awesome. So you can plant them really whenever. Um, however, in the summertime, you do have to focus on like watering them and stuff because uh, it gets really hot and really like long days and it's extreme weather. And they might not even produce for like, like a good six weeks in summertime just because it's so hot, um, they don't want to produce. So, um, but it's okay. They're just going to start flowering again in the fall and you know, and keep going. Sometimes these will go for multiple seasons in the garden, you know, they'll be there for three years. So this right here is a bigger variety. Some are little small ones. There's green ones, there's white ones. There's all sorts of different varieties. There's one called fairy tale I really like to grow. Um, there's the long Japanese ones. But these are the bigger ones um, I've been doing. I forget the name, but they've been really, really productive. So I'm, I'm gonna keep saving these seeds and. Uh, and growing them because these are super productive. So I would say keep messing with varieties in your area and seeing what works because really all of them, um, they grow well, but see which ones produce well and you know, do well in like your climate, you know? So they take about four months to hit and then they're ready and you can start harvesting. Um, the best way to know how to harvest is to, you kind of um, press on the eggplant and then if it indents and it doesn't kind of pop back right away, it's ready, it means it's ready to be picked. And you use your pruners, you know, you don't yank it off the plant because it hurts the plant. You use your pruners and uh, get it off, you know, cleanly. And then as far as taking care of them, it's really important to be looking, especially this time of the year when it's hot, for insects, caterpillars, aphids. They are definitely attracted to this plant, but ladybugs are also attracted to this plant and they eat the bad guys too. So let them go to work too, but definitely keep the observation going and just kind of be a part of the process because um, these definitely get hit by insects um, unless you are out there, you know, kind of being a part of it. Um, and I will say pruning the leaves and getting rid of kind of these yellowy leaves, coming out here with scissors and just kind of getting rid of these every few weeks um, makes a huge difference and it kind of keeps it healthy and from getting kind of, um, you know, fungus and all these issues when there's not airflow in the plant. As you can tell, we've We've been pruning these up for the last, you know, six, seven, eight months, and uh, super healthy, super productive. So uh, eggplants are definitely a winner in the garden. Check them out. I'll see you next time.